Oh yeah, give him the suplex. Oh, that's oh beautiful. Uh, they called me a monster last game. It's exactly the kind of reaction we're going for. This dude never sleeps. Like, ever. Just awake all the time. What if all the villains aren't villains? They're just like insomnia ghosts. Say nothing at all. It doesn't help anything to bottle your feelings up. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. Uh oh. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises it's just not possible that kind <laughs> of money go to hell go to hell i'm already there bruce right alongside you alfred's loyal he's a loyal guy your father hamilton hill and falcone they were partners so mayor hill falcone and my dad them knowing uh they work together and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. And then you were born. But then they were killed. No. And you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Ah, I can't betray Alfred. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. I that was a really weird way to say that. Again. Yet, there it was. If my father enemies. was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, that's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. Oh, it was definitely an assassination. You've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But I want him standing here. Possibility is a frightening. Oh, we're gonna ask him why. I only want to ask him one question: Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? We still gotta be. Uh, oh, <laughs> got what he deserved. All right, we still have to be a detective, but we need to do this. And we're gonna be brutal, of course, but. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Do it, Joe. Shoot him, Joe. Not that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. You don't ever hear a lot about Martha Wayne. They always focus on his dad. Which is fair, but... I don't know. I never really thought about that. How did we get over here? Business. He told me you had it coming. 
Yeah. It's obviously a hit. Dang, he double tapped him. Dang, he triple tapped him. Jeez. Oh my god, what a headshot. That was brutal. Oh my god. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me, Harvey. But now I need your help. Keep up appearances as Bruce, nice Big Bones as Batman. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not hey, is she the one that shot me last time? Sergeant Rene Montoya. I think I so. To say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. The man practically tore him in half. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Just get over overly defensive. Monster. That freak does more harm than good. <laughs> I'm starting to think you might be right. That isn't the first time either. Nearly ripped a guy's arm off at the That's top. a bit dramatic. I barely broke his arm. Jeez. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. Barely a broken arm. It's like I chopped away at it till it's a third on. You must have some clout. <laughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. I haven't took a beat in this bed since before I got made. <clears throat> Your father used to sew me up. Better than these cop doctors. So I'm here to talk about Falcone. Tommy Your father. Or my father. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Mm. I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Just pull those little oxygen tips right out of his nose. Hold them until he tells me. Be a good boy and help Uncle come. Ah! I don't know if I should give him morphine. That's a little, a little over the top there. Heard him. Hurt him just a little bit. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? Just stay silent. Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne core. I just saw how to focus. You, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But you got on his bad side. <laughs> Man, that pain went away pretty easily, huh? Father was no morphine now. Ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still made us all rich, including you. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. Your parents learned that. Oh. My God! They're waiting for you in hell. Holy shit! The bastard had to die. What the hell? Falcone's dead! <laughs> oh my God! Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets hit. 
Oh my god, I was not ready for that. Wow. There's obviously something wrong with her. She was on some kind of drug. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. Something was wrong with her. I don't I don't know. I hardly recognize what she brought. She had that blue around her mouth was something. It's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in, and that we're being played. The usual. Someone planned this for a reason. Uh, even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Cal County's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions. Of mine. All right, she got stabbed right there. There's injections. Yep. Doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Swipe up. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce. Biggie Vale. What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. Just say anything. I don't even know what to say in this situation. <laughs> I, I really didn't know what to say. I just didn't say anything. I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Hmm. Give me something to run with. Yeah. Uh. A police sergeant, Rene Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya. You didn't get this from me. I don't even. That might have been a really bad decision. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's what I was thinking. That nerve agent at the docks made that cop go crazy. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy or out of control. So this new chemical is more of a refined, more violent sample. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Mm. A drug that removes all your morals. Both compounds interesting. Stable, but they're quick to fall apart. All those intrusive thoughts, you can act on them now. A skyline club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobble Park. It's time he met the Batman. <laughs> the Batman suit's always just so funny to me without any way, because it's like a giant mouth gaping open. Which really makes me laugh. Hmm. God, his glove things are so cool. That guy looks weird. It's true. <laughs> Cracks me up when you run so quickly. Alright, we gonna take thugs out? We sure are. Love it. Oh, uh oh, that guy's not healthy. Let him go, Batman. It's about time you kill a crime boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number. All right, well, that wasn't hard. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? Mm. <laughs> we all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admittedly, Falcone deserved to die. Bowman like Falcone, they deserve 
<laughs> I don't kill. I just give serious, serious brain damage. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, you're gonna mm. attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. So, oh. sorry this didn't work Let's go out. fight with Catwoman. I'd stay and watch. I, <laughs> I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes, oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Uh-oh. They know her secret identity. She knows mine. Not a good thing. All right, we're going to get to fight this guy. Oh, I missed it. Oh. It's a big boy. Huh. Yeah, use the stool. Oh my god. Oh, I did not see that. It blended in with the red so well. Alright, there's no way that big guy moved out of here that fast. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Oh, bar scene. We're not definitely gonna have a bar fight here. Take all your fancy clothes. <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? <laughs> of course, you're not really the low lying. You want me to buy you round? Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. All right, Leave buddy. Alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. Very smooth, very smooth. Selena, I need to tell you something important. The penguin. <laughs> we'll fight this together. The penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. Oh, in English. Than you think. And we grew up together. Up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics. You two have <laughs> All right, that that was a fair shot. That was a fair shot. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe, for starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald. Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. Revolution, Batman. Revolution. A good reason not to be here when he does. You and I. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, Bruce. You were right. Selena Kyle. Penguin says hello. <laughs> Beat it. We're here for her. Here we go. Do you care about your own skin? Yo, get the hell out. She's with me. I think you need to leave. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, a knife.
Oh yeah, give him the suplex. Oh, that's oh beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go with the pool table. Oh my god, brutal. Love it. Not done yet. <laughs> Still has that knife. Oh. Did that sign? That neon sign just said beer drink. Back to back. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Oh my god. That was amazing. Boom. Oh. Alright, this looks... Now he's looking like... Nightwing. There we go. Oh. That was a really good throw. Be a really good tag team in WWE. Bruce already has the good moves for it. You're such a pretty boy. All right, let's get out of here. Cops are here. Yeah, still his phone. Mm, nah, we're going full on non-moral Batman. Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Okay. Good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. That thing's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> good. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. It did not seem like a safe distance to drop to. Deborah, you incompetent. Stands up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate, or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next fifteen minutes. I'm cutting your pay. Who's that? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. <laughs> Batman? It's gonna terrify him. What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. God, he's huge. So what? I've got nothing to do with that low life. Do you hear me? You think people will still vote for you when you've got no teeth left? What does Penguin want with Bruce Wayne? The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. Interesting. Where are you gonna go? Didn't I set off an EMP? Poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. His mother? Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. With enough money, you can make anything or anyone disappear. I didn't dare speak up. Mm. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by... Ah, oh, that's why Children of Arkham. They said the title. You deserve whatever's coming for you. 
Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. Alfred, I thought you were leaving. Could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gord that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Sweet, here we go. Nice car, bro. Harvey needs to get out of there. Something's come up. Something that's... What? Well, it's not a... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. But my advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to... Dis yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Whatever, man. Get out of there. Until all this mess with your family... Blows. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. <laughs> that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary <laughs> Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Shut up, Harvey. Sure. You, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Ooh, maybe he turns into... Always my friend. It's politics, baby. Hope we didn't turn into Two Face tonight. Listen, I value you looking out for the city. This <laughs> cigar cracked me up. The smoke is so bad. People are terrified of you. Good. My cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? Mm, can't promise that. Orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. No, they're not too big. They just look big on the screen. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Oh my god. That was quick. Beautiful. I love the random out of focus shots. They really add to the aesthetic. Oh, that's tough. At least we know why they weren't responding. <laughs> Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, oh there he is. There's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is brutal. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <laughs> You'll do. That guy. Get out here. Oh, that's Vicky Vale. Quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. It's a nice gun, though. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. God, he's creepy. Got to take him out quiet. Smart. 
<laughs> All right, I guess I hope this works. I don't know if it will. I almost missed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Did it. No calls, no casualties. Good job, Catwoman. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. What the heck? That's Riddler. No. Scarecrow? Huh. This was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Go on, love. You know what to do. Uh-oh. Okay, these are the drugs. I have a feeling we're getting two-faced tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a strong starting point. Incinerate the poor. <laughs> Not even just let them die. It's incinerate the it's incinerate them. Jesus. Ugh. All right. All right, so Harvey's still being innocent. He's still being nice, which is, makes sense. He's always had a good a heart. What is this? So too. Esther Cobblepot, you've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We've always played together. Oh. This is tough to watch. Commence the procedure. Give her Jeez. We'll come back from. <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Here we go. Batman. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Uh oh. Oh yeah. There you go, Vicky. Oh god. This guy again. Alright, here we go. Scan him. Scan him, Alfred. All right. Never mind, Alfred. I missed it. Sorry. 
I missed that one. Oh, I missed that one. Oh. If you tap the button wrong, as long as you tap it again. Oh. Oh my god. Everything's going really, really bad. Where's your maid, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and you didn't even turn up. <sighs> Here we go. Yes. Let Dent go. And what if I do? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something. <laughs> Dang. Let me catch it. Ah, uh, what do I do? Oh, there's so many issues. Ah. Oh, oh, I created Two Face. Yep. Whew. Harvey. Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here. Now. Ooh. This all went really, really bad. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton. <laughs> That was really bad, guys. Several members of the children of Arkham have been arrested. The penguin is still at large. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Oops. Oh, here we go. Ugh. Dear old dad was not a good man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I chose this. Mm. Bad episode. <sighs> Did not end well for us. All right, let's see here. Made Falcone suffer. Tried to kiss Selena. Bunch of horny bastards. Uh, chose to visit Mayor Hill's Batman. A lot of people still funded Harvey's campaign. That's good. Everyone saved Selena. 